Hi, today we'll be showing you how simple it is to manage customer orders in SQL Accounting. In my consult, we have always recommend our clients to key in all their purchase orders into SQL Accounting under Sales Order. So to do this, all we just need to do is click Sales, click Sales Order. Let's click New, select our customer, say AB Enterprise, and we will select Product. So today he wants to purchase antennas. We'll select he wants to purchase 200 pieces. He wants us to deliver it on the 20th of June 2020. And we are selling them at a price of 200 per piece. So once we're done, all we just need to do is press save. Okay, so from a customer point of view, we have already recorded the order. Now we need to track how much hasn't been fulfilled yet. To do this, we actually click sales, click report. Let's click print outstanding sales document listing. Change this from outstanding quotation to outstanding sales order. And at the bottom here, you can actually see, see that there's two different dates. One is document date, one is delivery date. So for this example, we want to check what has to be delivered during the month of June. So click delivery date, select the date range from 1st of June all the way to 30th of June. Once done, we just press apply. You'll be able to see what order that needs to be fulfilled during this period. So from here, you can see we actually have 200 pieces that is ordered by the customer. Transfer quantity will show what you have been delivered to the customer and outstanding quantity will show what that hasn't been fulfilled yet. So with this implemented, you will not re only reduce your time tracking which order that has not been fulfilled, but you also help your company to prevent any loss of sales. So that's it for today and we hope that this how-to guide is beneficial to you. Do let us know in the comments below if you have any certain topics that you'd like us to cover. Thank you so much and have a good day.